Hello, welcome to this question number eight. Once again, from CAT 2021 slot two. D and E B points on sides A B and A C respectively of a triangle A B C such that A D is to B D is given, A E is to C E is given. Area of triangle A D is given to us, and then the area of triangle A B C is asked. This time, though, this question I would say it has an aptitude way of solving, but that aptitude way is also the actual way of solving. I mean. Why should I take any variables or why should I use any formula in this question? That's pretty easy. If you just look at it uh, or visualize it properly, then you would be able to do this question fast enough. Let me just try it with you. I'm just making a triangle first of all. So this point is, let's say, A, this is B, this is C. So we have a triangle A, B, C over here. He says, take a point D on A, B such that A, D is 2, B, D is 2, is 2, 1. So I have to take a point D here such that AD is to BD is 2 is to 1. So this distance is larger than this distance. So what I have taken, I have taken this point D over here such that that distance is equal to 2 and this distance is equal to 1. In a similar way, he says AE is to CE is 2 is to 3. So if AE is 2, then CE is 3. So on this part, it should be 3. On the other part, it should be slightly smaller. So therefore, I have taken this point as E over here, such that AE is to CE is 2 is to 3. Area of the triangle ADE is given as 8. So this area is given to us as 8. Then the area of triangle ABC in square centimeters, we have to find the area of the complete triangle now. How can we do it? There is a very simple formula that everyone knows. Probably you must have studied in class 8. The area of a triangle is half of base into altitude. Look at these two triangles, triangle ADE and triangle DEC, ADE and DEC. Now these two triangles share a common height. They both are actually lying on the same line segment. So they have a common height. So area is half of base into altitude. They both have the same altitude. So can I say their area would actually depend upon their base only. Altitude would not be important. So if the base of triangle ADE is 2, the area is 8, that is 4 times of that. So if base of triangle DEC is 3, area would be again 4 times of 3, that is equal to 12. So area of ADE is 8, area of DEC is 12. And once again, exactly by the same logic, if you look at this complete triangle ADC and you look at this complete triangle CDB, they also share a common uh, vertex. They also share a common altitude. So if I drop an altitude from point C on AB, that would also be common for them. So what is the area of ADC? It is 12 plus 8. That is equal to 20. So if the base is 2, the area is 20. So if the base is 1, area should be 10. And hence I can say the total area of ABC is 20 plus 10, which is equal to 30. That's an aptitude way of solving this question. Just visualize this problem and you would be able to do it fast enough. Mm -hmm.